Assalamu alaikum children. Today's story is about Prophet Musa's mother. Do you know any stories about Prophet Musa? It was a horrible time for many people as the evil pharaoh was ruling Egypt. Everyone was sad in Egypt and it was all because of the naughty pharaoh. No one was able to stop him. When people were upset, he was even more horrible to them and this would make his heart become darker by the second. One day, Satan gave him an idea. He told Pharaoh to make everyone worship him instead of Allah. Whoever disobeyed this order was to be killed within a heartbeat. A few people from Israel were living in a small place in Egypt. They lived for a few decades. They believed in worshipping only one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Pharaoh was told of this, he ordered his men to curse them and kill most of them. One day, he had a dream which scared him, so he asked the priest and fortune tellers to explain to him what it meant. The pharaoh said, I saw a small baby mocking me and making fun of me, and when I tried to kill him, I couldn't. The priest replied, we don't see anything too bad from this, O pharaoh the great. Pharaoh then said, bring me the old fortune teller, and maybe then she can help me. So they brought her. She sat and listened to everything the pharaoh had to say. She responded by saying, Your vision is a bad vision, but it's not too late. Pharaoh was surprised and then said, I am listening to you, O fortune teller. The fortune teller then said, A baby is going to be born from the people of Israel, a baby that will mock you and your throne, your majesty. After the pharaoh heard this, he ordered his army, to watch all the women who were going to have babies and then ordered his army to kill all the baby boys that were born. Yukibid was an honored woman from the family of the prophets and so was her husband Omran. There was no man or woman who had more honor and righteousness than them. She was about to deliver her baby but when Pharaoh ordered his men to kill all the baby boys who were born within that year she prayed to God whenever she could to prevent these people from killing her baby. When she finally gave birth to her child, she had no idea what to do with him. Allah then told her to put the baby in a box and put him in the river Nile. Yukabid then did what Allah asked her to do and put her baby in the basket with quilted blankets and smoothly put him into the water. She stood there for a while as the basket traveled along the river. When she went back to the house and asked her eldest daughter to walk with the box, and see where it goes. After a few hours, the box ended up in the pharaoh's castle. Maryam, Musa's sister, followed him to the castle with the people who came to watch the beautiful baby. Pharaoh's wife Asya wanted to keep him, and the pharaoh surprisingly agreed. When they brought women to nurse him, he refused them all, so Maryam used this chance to reunite Musa with his mother. Maryam ran to her house with a group of maids and brought Yukabit to the castle. The baby accepted her and Musa and his mother were back together. Inshallah children, you enjoyed that story as much as I did. I love to read stories about Prophet Musa and ancient Egypt. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.